Yo, good morning world. My name's Raheem Flowers. And I've been hearing a lot of things that's been transpiring with Kanye in regards to his comments towards Trump. And even a TMZ interview where we were speaking about slavery being a choice and whatnot. Now I know that the likes, now I know that somebody, see Tommy's ass is gonna take credit for this shit. I already know, I can't even see it now. You see, I was the first one to do it. Didn't nobody else want to say it before me. Then you had Dr. Carter Anderson say it, and now Kanye is saying it. You know, he's going to take credit for it. The forefather of everything. I mean, but all jokes aside, to be objective, he was the first person that I heard say it back in 2015. But I always focus on what where your angle is at when you say it when a person says it. So as far as Tommy goes, I try to keep that shit in mind. In addition though, as far as Kanye goes, I like what Kanye's been saying and I like this direction that he's going. I think, I do agree with what Lenny, I do agree with what Charlemagne said about Kanye just needs to be redirected again. Because Kanye, his mind is in the right place. He just needs, he just needs a compass. And I also find it interesting how all these motherfuckers are just having this hate campaign for Trump. When Donald Trump has been taking pictures with all these rappers with like 50 Cent, he's taking pictures with Oprah, the illustrious Oprah Winfrey, who y'all want to be the president in the next decade. Y'all shouted Trump out in songs. Even Nas has shouted out and referenced Trump in his songs, like on Life is Good. He had a song on there and he said, um, he had a line in the song where he said, he got that Trump money up, down, up, down, play with cash. You know, cause you know, Trump is a billionaire and you know, he's been, he's been um, bankrupt and whatnot and he always finds a way to maintain. You see, that's how I look at shit. Everybody out here, you, only hate Trump because you were told to hate the man. Prior to that, Trump was just this lovable guy who you saw on TV and everybody was just, you know, I mean, people laughed with and at Trump. But now that, but see, now that he wants to take his business to the office and he's being unapologetic with his statements, now everybody's like, oh man, fuck Donald Trump. Like y'all treat him like an antichrist. Hell no, I'm not a fan of Trump. Hell no, I'm not a Trump supporter. And I didn't even vote or vote for his ass, especially. Didn't even forget what he said when he was talking about countries being shitholes like Haiti and El Salvador. And that would include where even the roots my family come from, which is Belize. So I know the fucked up things that Trump said. Didn't forget it. But I bet you, I bet you that motherfuckers will still go to the Trump Tower here in Chicago and yet y'all say all these things about him. I mean, black people didn't have a problem getting hired by the man. You all didn't have a problem taking pictures with him. You all acknowledge what he has done as an entrepreneur and maintain his business. Now everybody will say, well, that was inherited, but people don't even understand that it's not easy to maintain well. Yes, you can inherit that wealth, but you could also lose it too. And as far as Kanye goes, see, Kanye is one of those people who he even said on a, a tweet, I believe, about breaking the simulation. Kanye, I would argue Kanye is one of those people who he's because even though Steve didn't That's how he was speaking, even though he was just opposed to particular, and I don't even say that he had a better understanding than Kanye. But Kanye has always been this type of person who went against the grain, just like he said in Ye versus the people. But now suddenly, y'all now y'all want to call him Kunye West, Kunye Kardashian. But y'all don't, see, nobody wants to be a critical thinker. Everybody wants to use their emotions to lead them. And that's why things are in disarray right now. 
feel me? You get what I'm saying? I personally like the direction that Kanye's headed towards. And I, somebody, and not to even be on no contrarian shit, but somebody who always, or somebody who's often hated, I have to question that, but still is, is successful what they do. I'm like, you gotta be doing something right. Well, ever since I saw that Zane, that Zane Low interview back in 2013, and the Breakfast Club interview in 2013, I'm like, yeah, man, Kanye's up to something, man. And even like Kanye was saying when he was talking to Charlemagne about ever since that he, you know, he committed that act towards Taylor Swift, it's been harder for him. You, it's getting to the point now where it's like they want a black ball, yay, but this is Kanye, man. He revolutionized a lot of things in this era, especially musically. So it's like, now the people who run the industry they're gonna find themselves in a dilemma when dealing with somebody like Kanye because Kanye has too strong of a fan base. So, yes, a lot of people will discard Ye because of what he's saying about Trump. And I'm not, I'm not with all that Trump being my brother shit. Nah, fuck that. But I like the sentiment of him being a free thinker because people aren't like that. Everybody's just gotta have this group thinking. Everybody gotta be on this. Um, everybody gotta have this montanous way of uh, mentality where it's either you gotta rock this way or you ain't with us. Like they treat him like he's on some renegade traitor shit, you know? That's how I look at it. I'm looking forward to Kanye's new album and his endeavors and whatever else he has planned. Now, like I said, Kanye, in my opinion, still needs to be directed and he still needs to have more of an understanding of what he's getting into and what he's trying to accomplish. But I think that he's he's doing, he, he's on to something though, you know? And that's what I gotta say for for now. All right, peace out everybody and enjoy this nice ass weather.